Hi everyone, it's Lori. Um, if you're new to my channel, I want to say welcome. If you've been here before, I'd like to say welcome back. Um, I just uh, thought I'd pop on for a quick little visit and let you know what I've been up to. So um, I've purchased a coach bag. I'm not sure that I'm going to keep it yet. If you've watched my videos before, you know that um, you, you might remember that I had one of these bags in a different color and it was part of the 1941 collection. So as of right now, I feel like I'm getting cut off, but as of right now, they have done away, or I think they have, moving away from the 1941 collection and going back to Coach Originals. So like a dummy, I got rid of the first bag. I don't know why I do that to myself. I, you know, I'm always sorry. I don't know why I do it, but usually for me if i'm going to if i see something that i like something new i have to rotate i can't keep adding if i don't get rid of something so i got rid of that bag like a stupid fool but anyway so here i am later on trying to get the color that i originally wanted but it's not 1941 it's the originals collection so it shipping came fast um first time you first time me gonna take a look at the comparisons between the 1941 and the originals. So, without further ado, I'm not sure if you can tell what it is by the handle popping out. It did come with a 1941 uh, dust bag. So, I'm gonna move the box out of the way and pop up, I'll pop up and down as I go. But this is the Coach Willis in the color saddle. And let's take a look. I'm gonna have to put my glasses on, so if you see a glare, it's my glasses, I'm sorry. But I can't see anything without them. So anyway, let's take a look. So the first thing I've noticed right away is there's no contrast stitching. So in the 1941, they had like this yellow or golden colored stitching across the, you know, the flap and here. Also, I'm noticing that it used to have a red glazing. Now this is all leather. It's leather and it's sewn. So that might be better because I ran into a lot of issues with the glazing, especially on my Cassie bag. Um, I do see that this seems smaller to me. This seems significantly smaller, but we'll see. Um, does say coach right here. Not sure if that's going to focus but it says coach right there and the bottom the bottom now says original glove tan leather instead of genuine glove tan leather and let's see the hang tag the hang tag is the original coach hang tag it's no longer the horse and carriage i really liked the horse and carriage i'm going to tell you that's kind of a big deal for me like i feel like this is plain kind of plain jane um, I just felt like the, cor the horse and carriage hang tag added a little something extra. Also, I feel like the pop of color with the contrast stitching, I really liked that. I'm not sure that this is, I'm not sure that this is going to be, um, something I end up loving, I guess. I don't know. The leather does feel kind of substantial, more substantial, and it feels different than the 1941 Willis I had in black. This feels more like the original, like my old coach, um, one of my old coach bags that I can't find. I don't know where it went in the move, I've lost it. It was like a chocolate brown, chocolate brown scoopy bag, but, um, so let's see. Um, I don't notice any, I don't notice any scratches or anything like that. It's packaged pretty nicely. Um, let's see, let's see. So, I might be probably not gonna take everything apart. I did see other people say in other reviews that the strap is thicker and wider. So that makes it more comfortable. So that's a bonus. Also what I'm noticing, and other people have mentioned in their comments and their reviews on the Coach website, the inside of the bag is no longer the Oxblood leather. It's all the same color. So you have the slip pocket in the front, you have 
a little card holder here, the, the main pocket, and then you have the zipper portion. Now the zipper portion, let's see if that's leather lined, if I can get it open. That is in the um, fabric lining, like the textile lining. And it's got the three little, um, the dangle chain, instead of the one that says 1941, you know, the substantial zipper. And then it does have the slip pocket on the back. The loop, the dog, dog leash clip there, it's, it's okay. It says coach on there. It does say coach. It seems like it might be smaller to me, but I could just not be remembering very well. Um, and it will hook on the back here. So you would unroll it and hook from side to side. Um, let's see. I'm going to unhook that for the purpose of this video. And I think I'll tuck it back inside for now. For now, let's see, the handle here seems like it's thicker at the base and skinnier at the top, where I don't remember the 1941 doing that. Um, I feel like the 1941 was um, the same all the way across. So if you can tell, it's a little bit thicker here and it kind of narrows up at the top. Let's tell you the measurements of this bag. Let's see. So it's 10 across. 10 this way, it is 4 in width this way, and it is 10 in height, so that's the measurements I'm getting, 10, 10, and 4. Um, I will show you what I can fit in it, let me grab my purse that I'm currently using. So I am going to now take the Fuzzy Watts out. Okay, let's get the things out of here. So the first thing I'm gonna put in is my mini pochette. And let's see, where it is my card holder? My card holder. Um, that fits in there nicely. Then I have tissues. I'm probably gonna stick the tissues in the front pocket because it's allergy season. Um, I'm going to put my eyeglass cleaners in there. I'm going to put my round coin purse in. I'm going to put my hand sanitizer in for sanitizing your hands. And what do I have here? I have lip gloss, chapstick, and my Hannah Mori butterfly perfume. So, not sure where I'll put those. I probably can stick those right in my mini pochette because I have room in there and my keys. Um, my phone will fit, but I'm filming on it right now, so that's not going to go in. And that's everything that was in that purse. And let's show you how it looks. Whoops, there you go. And there's still plenty of room. See, I'm not a big bag carrier. I don't carry I just have to have enough room for my stuff and my husband's wallet. So anyway, um, this is the regular size of the Willis. It's not the 18. It's a nice feel. It does have a nice feel to it. I'm not sure if the contrast stitching and the hang tag are a deal breaker for me. I guess I have to give it a little bit more thought. I'm not, sh not sure, not positive, but Anyway, I thought I'd give you a quick little look at it, show you the differences in everything. Um, if there's anything you can, you need or any questions you have, please feel free to drop me a little note below and I will get back to you as soon as possible. I hope you have a great day. Thank you.